Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Hands On with Python and today we are going to learn on how we can perform logistic regression uh, in Python. So I have a data set which I'm going to use in uh, for this tutorial and this data set is for uh, suicide information uh, taken from China in a Shandong city. So uh, this data set is just uh, taken from 2009, 2010 and 2011. So I'm going to use this data set and basically I'm going to uh, use uh, three columns uh, which is the column for variable sex, age and education. So let's go back to Python. So uh, here I have a list of uh, libraries which I'm going to use in this tutorial. So uh, to start with we load our data set and uh, as I said these are the three columns which we extract from the main data set. So let's print out this uh, loaded data set. So this is the data set that we have taken from the main data set and now as usual when you perform any kind of uh, regression uh, you need to have descriptive analysis for your variables. So I have three variables two are categorical and one is continuous. So I'm going to have descriptive for the continuous and the descriptive analysis for the categorical. So here is the code for descriptive analysis for the uh, categorical variable and for the continuous uh, variable. So let's print out and uh, check the uh, summary or descriptive analysis of our data set. This is the uh, summary or descriptive analysis of our three variable. For the continuous variable which is age, we have the mean standard deviation minimum age and the maximum age is the, and the, the percentiles. For the categorical ones we have the uh, uh, percentage for the uh, sex category which is having female which is represent 51 percent of the observation from this data set and male represent 48 percent. Uh, as far as their respective education of all observ observed information from this data set you can see the uh, percentage here. After having the descriptive part of our variable, now the next thing is to prepare for performing the logistic regression. So we have these three variable. One is continuous, two are categorical. So I would like rather to group or to categorize the age uh, into three groups and uh, see uh, the influence of uh, different group age in association with the uh, the sex in this suicide information. So instead of using age in, as a continuous, for my side I will use them as a uh, category. So by categorizing um, the age into three classes or th three groups, which is the child uh, for the those uh, people who are under 18 and the uh, adult for those who are below 65 and those 65 plus I will term them as elderly. So this is the uh, code for uh, grouping uh, my observation for the age into three classes. So after that I will insert this column of uh, new group D information for the age into my data file uh, which is basically uh, data file 1 and this is a new data file which I created uh, after data management in the first section here. Okay, now let's see what we have after categorization of the age uh, column. Let me stop printing out of the data summary and print this. You can see uh, the sex is the, uh, is the same but we inserted a new uh, column for the uh, group D uh, age of uh, observed D, uh, person in this information. So 39 is adult, 83 is elderly so the commands works well. Now let's encode the three columns and the three columns which I'll now use is not anymore include this age but will include the age group. So I'll use sex, age group and education. So how to encode them? This is encoding of the uh, sex variable where I'm going to replace female 
as 1 and male uh, 0. Uh, for the age group, I'm going to encode them. Child will take value 1, adult 2, elderly will take uh, the value of 3. Also for the third variable, which is education, uh, those with unknown education will take the value of 0. Uh, illiterate will take the value of 1 here. Uh, illiterate will take the value of 1. And primary education will take the value of 2, secondary 3, and tertiary uh, value of 4. So uh, let's print this and see what's happened. Uh, to this data set after encoding our variables. So you can see uh, these uh, variables have been well encoded for the education, age group, and sex. So after encoding our uh, three variables, which basically we converted them to categorical, now let's proceed with the, our analysis. We separate our variables into X set and Y set because now um, I want to pick a random uh, sample from the uh, data set so that uh, I can uh, build a model and uh, using some parts of the data to train the model and uh, the other part will be used for uh, testing the model. So uh, I will uh, use the X set from my data set for the age group and education and the Y set will take the uh, sexy variable. So this is the split function uh, for my data set into training set and the test set. After that, uh, I'm going to have uh, a sample of uh, the training set and the test set. As you can see from this split function, we are going to use 70% uh, of the observation for training or developing the model and 30% will be reserved for the testing of the uh, developed model. So now after splitting the data set, I would like to concatenate the training set for Y and the training set for X so that I have the uh, one data file, which is the new one from this one. And I call this data file as new data file 2. So if uh, I stop the output of the previous uh, observation, and print the new one. So the result is this one. Uh, you can see this is our data set and this is the sample which we have taken a 70% sample of our data set and we are going to use this data set to develop our model. So after having this sample data which is a training data set, now let's develop our model. So we start by writing the formula uh, for the logistic regression which we are going to have and the, our response variable is going to be sex and the, we are going to have uh, age as a categorical this function c is for uh, allowing the evaluation of the model for this variable as a categorical also the education also is categorical so we have a function c here and then we fit our model using the data which we produced from the sample uh, after splitting and uh, we fit this uh, logit model uh, using those data. So the formula here is this one. So we place here the formula which we have this formula here. And now we are in a position to see the output or the summary of this uh, uh, model results. So let's run this model. So this is well and nice results that we got after uh, running uh, the model fit for our logistic regression. Uh, if we compare the p-value here for the education, all its p-values is greater than 10%. It's greater than 5%. So obviously from these results, education have nothing to work with this uh, situation which we are looking for, but rather the age. So you can see the age has a, a close relationship with the a suicide uh, information. So by these results here, you can say that uh, as one grow from a child age group to higher uh, age group, 
the predicted probability of one committing suicide being female increases by the log odds of 1.133 and 0 0.798 uh, respectively. Uh, also, you can compute the odds ratio of the uh, variable which you have. And the odds ratio basically is the exponent of the uh, coefficient of the parameter. So now we compute the exponent of the model parameter and we create a column uh, by the name odds ratio. Also, we add another column for p-values of the uh, odds ratio. Uh, so the uh, confidence interval into the data which we are going to produce after that, let's print out and see the odds ratio coming from this uh, data set which we have. So if we run this, so these are the odds ratio and uh, this is the output of uh, uh, odds ratio. You have the odds ratio p-value and this is the confidence interval. After having the odds ratio, another thing you can do uh, is uh, to test your model. Okay, And we are going to test uh, our model. Uh, using the x test to get the uh, predicted y value okay remember we split our data into training and test set so this time we are in order to uh, to test our model we are going to use the test set in order to predict the uh, value for the y remember the value of y which we are getting from the logistic regression are probabilities so now these are the codes for testing our uh, our model and uh, we are going to print out the uh, predicted value okay for our model using this uh, test set and also we have another code now which will convert the results from predicted value uh, which is probability to a uh, normal value or binary value which represent the uh, the sex column which is 0 and 1 now let's run this one so you can see we have this uh, predicted value which are in probability and I commanded only 15 rows from the predicted value and the, the same for the uh, converted one. So you can see the probabilities, those which are greater than uh, 0 0.5 are converted to 1, which are less than 0 0.5, they are converted to 0. Lastly, which we, I would like to share from this tutorial is how you can uh, measure your model performance. Okay, so model performance basically we are going to use the uh, Y test. Remember, the Y test which we have from the previous information contains binary information. Now, the Y predicted which we are going to use to measure the model performance, we take from those which we converted from round function to binary so that we have the uh, similar information from Y test and uh, from the predicted Y information. So uh, this is the code for uh, testing the uh, model accuracy and we can print this one and see how our model uh, works. So let's print this and see the accuracy of our model. So you can see here our model accuracy is only 53 percent so this is how you can perform a logistic regression analysis which i prepared for you so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like share and comment on this tutorial until next time goodbye